Topping our morning rush this morning, the FBI is asking for your help in finding the people responsible for the death of a Native American man found dead nearly two years ago. Isaiah Terrell, Terrell Billy, rather, was strangled to death in a goalie near a gas station on October 5th, 2020. There's a $10,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest of the person or people responsible. A man is waking up behind bars this morning accused of stealing from a Northeast bank in Albuquerque. Michael Silva is facing burglary charges after he was found inside a bank of Albuquerque with several USBs owned by the bank in his pocket, as well as items from the nearby PNC bank. Silva is currently at MDC facing multiple charges. We're working to learn more details about the reported 200 human trafficking victims that Doniana County Sheriff's Department says they've rescued since May. What we know right now is the Sheriff's Department, along with Homeland Security, the U.S. Marshals, and Border Patrol saved the people from around that area. They also say they've turned over five traffickers to those organizations. Erica. And here's a look at our morning forecast. Temperatures are in the upper 40s, so you'll need the warmer layers to start the day. But we'll run back into the upper 60s with increasing sunshine by the late morning. This morning, Ukraine's capital has been hit by multiple missiles while shelling continues in other parts of the country. Over the weekend, shelling in the city of, that left more than a dozen people dead and many others injured. The deadly shelling followed a Saturday blast that damaged the Kerch Bridge, which is strategically and symbolically important for Russia. In a wave of defiance in Iran, female college students in Tehran screamed, Get lost to Iran's president as he visited their campus and condemned anti government protesters on Saturday. But as the protests spill into their fourth week now, the regime's use of force appears to be growing more brutal. Southwest Florida looking at a years long road to recovery from Hurricane Ian. Floridians who rode out the storm and are now dealing with the aftermath say it will live with them as a traumatic event. Officials attribute over 100 deaths to Ian, which makes it one of the deadliest storms to ever hit the U.S. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate today. We'll see storms in southern New Mexico and in some of the mountains, but we will stay dry in the metro. A historic trial for the highest profile case in the January 6th attack at the Capitol resumes this week. Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rose is charged with conspiracy to incite, accused of planning to attack and block the peaceful transfer of power in the U.S. The trial does resume tomorrow. The Spanish language spoken by many New Mexicans is quite unique, but a researcher believes the language could be gone within decades. Dr. Devin Jenkins says as older generations are passing away, the language is not being passed down. He says the language could be gone within the next 50 years due to younger generations only learning English. Student filmmakers from NMSU are getting hands-on experience out in the field while learning about the history of the Gila Wilderness. New Mexico State University is partnering up with the U.S. Forest Service. This is to help protect local wildlife by creating the Gila Film School. Students have created six short documentaries. The films will be showcased by the U.S. Forest Service. Erica. And here's a look at the traffic maps. We are looking clear on the roads, no accidents or slowdowns. Trackers going south on I-25 near Gibson, and everything's moving at speed. A cat in Massachusetts has a new home and a unique name after he was found under interesting circumstances. The six-month-old kitten named Buzz Lightyear was spotted with a jar on his head. Buzz was eventually captured and once secured, a field services agent was able to handle the kitten and remove the glass jar. And time now for the five facts. At number five, one house in nor the Northeast Heights neighborhood is hard to miss thanks to an impressive Halloween display. One Albuquerque teen puts on all for his community. Elias Aragon is the mastermind behind the masterpiece. He's been a fan of spooky season ever since he was a kid because he was inspired by his uncle who would go big for the holiday. Elias is putting on the scary scene and every skeleton and spook is worth it. He hopes to continue the tradition for years to come. You can check out the haunted display near Piedra Negra and Gutierrez in Northeast Albuquerque. Number four now, student filmmakers from NMSU are getting hands on experience out in the field while learning about the history of the Gila Wilderness. New Mexico State University is partnering up with the U.S. Forest Service to help protect local wildlife by creating the Gila Film School. In order to get their message across, the students have created six short documentaries shot during a nearly two week, 70 mile backpacking trip in the Gila. The films will be showcased by the U.S. Forest Service. Then they will be sent to fourth grade classrooms across the state. And at number three, we're drying out across the metro today. We'll be seeing increasing sunshine and temperatures going from the 40s this morning into the upper 60s by the afternoon. 
Number two, now the Spanish language spoken by many New Mexicans is quite unique, but a researcher believes the language could be gone within decades. Researcher Dr. Devin Jenkins says the Spanish in this region is a mixture of old Spanish, indigenous, and English, and does not match the Spanish taught in school. Dr. Jenkins says as older generations are passing away, the language is not being passed down. He says the language could be gone within the next 50 years due to a generational shift as younger generations are only learning English. Finally, number one for you this hour. This morning, the FBI is asking for your help in finding the people responsible for the death of a Native American man who was found dead nearly two years ago. Isaiah Terrell Billy was found dead in a gully near a gas station on October 5, 2020. It's a day after his 30th birthday. The FBI says Billy was strangled. Billy was one of seven brothers. His mother is now on a mission to find justice for her son. There is a $10,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest of the person or people who are responsible.